What's up, guys? How's it going? Mike the Tech here. And today I'm going to show you how to chroma key using Streamlabs OBS. Um, if you want to see more content like this, I do a ton of tech videos. So be sure to click on subscribe to get filled in on all the new ones I upload. And check out my channel for the ones I've already put up. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is basically to achieve this effect in Streamlabs. So I'm actually going to remove my camera for a second so I can add it completely fresh and show you the whole process on how to I do green screen. Mm -hmm. So let's delete this video capture device. And we're going to add a new video capture device. You're going to choose your webcam. And choose the highest quality that you're comfortable rendering in. The higher the quality um, or higher the resolution, the easier the chroma key is going to be able to replace the background and the less um, distortion you're going to see because it has fewer pixels to work with. So high res is better in this case. Uh, let's go ahead and make this smaller so you can see the whole picture. Um, if you want to cut out some of the side and you don't want to move the camera, like I could technically move the camera like that, but if I didn't want to have to move the camera or I couldn't, you can hold Alt and drag one of these corners and it'll cut off that edge. Now, we want to get rid of all of the green in the background. So we're going to right click on our source and go to filters and edit filters. Now you're going to add a new uh, filter and you're going to choose chroma key. Not to be confused with color key, this is not the one you need. You need chroma key and hit add. Now you can see it's already starting to remove um, the background, but first we need to uh, change this all the way down to zero. And we're going to instead choose custom color. Choose the color picker tool and click on a color in your background that um, seems the most even shade throughout. And you can see it's starting to get rid of the background there. And we can adjust this similarity to completely remove that background. So let's go ahead and lower this a little bit. Uh, that's a little too far. Just to make sure we get rid of all the fuzziness in the background. All right, and then we can see that there's a little bit of fuzziness happening. So we can actually um, choose smoothness. And that will smooth out the edges. That way everything looks pretty good. And you can um, adjust these numbers as you see fit to try and get them just right. So now you can even see the little um, cord on my headset. That's how accurate the green screen is. So that's pretty good for our use, especially since it's gonna be in the corner. And then, um, oops, don't crash. Ooh. Hopefully that didn't crash anything. Um, and we're gonna hit close here. And now we have the chroma key. So uh, we can put this in the corner and just resize it here. And now it works. If I want to move this so that I could make use of the whole screen, I can right click and you can even um, transform and flip horizontal and that'll move it the other direction. That way I have all this extra space that I can move in and they won't know really the difference. So it's a larger area that I have available to me on the screen to point or do whatever I need to do. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers and you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game. I made a game too, and it's called stream savers. And it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.